Hello all, welcome to part 65 of SNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate these two methods of iTest listener interface of SNG, that is on start and on finish. I already covered these methods in the previous session, but not in a better and special way. But in this session, I'm going to cover these two methods in a special way and show you how exactly these methods are going to work, okay? So let's get started. This session that is on start and on finish of this ITS listener interface of TestNG, okay? This session is a continuation of the previous sessions. That is from here, we started ITS listener, okay? Then we have implemented listeners at the class level using at the rate listeners annotation. Then we have implemented listeners at the suit level using the listener tags, the TestNG XML file. Now I'm going to specially cover this on start and on finish to cover them in a better way in this session, okay? So this session is a continuation of the previous sessions. So this on start will be executed before every test tag in test and XML file, guys. Okay. To understand how the on start uh, predefined uh, method of this I test listener interface works, you can understand from this statement, guys. On start will be executed before every test tag in test and XML file. On finish will be executed over, after every test tag in test and XML file, guys. Okay. This is how it is going to work. Okay. So let me open this Eclipse IDE. So let's open this project, guys. In this project, we have listeners created here, my listeners. Okay, we have my listeners created here. Let me open the my listeners.java. This my listeners is a user defined class which is implementing this ITS listener interface. And we have overridden the default methods of this ITS listener method here. You see, we have on start here, on test start, on test success. This particular method will be executed. This particular method will be executed when a particular test method in a class will start, okay, executing. This particular method will be executed when a particular test method passes, okay, execution completes and the test passes. This particular method will be executed when a particular at the rate test annotated test method fails. This will be executed when the test method at the rate test annotation test method skips. This method will be executed when there is a timeout exception in one of the at the rate test annotated test method. And but on start and on finish will be executed before the test tag and after the test tag in testng XML file, okay? So here, if I open this testng XML file, this is all the previous uh, session, guys, okay? Here, we only have a single test tag, so we are not able to identify how this uh, on, on start and on finish will work, okay? On start and on finish will work for each and every test tags. Before this uh, uh, classes inside this text, uh, test tag works, on start will be invoked. After all the classes inside this test tag are got executed at the end of the test tag, on finish will be executed, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create multiple test case, okay? Instead of single test, I'm going to create multiple tests. First one, I'll say login test. I'll put only one class here, okay? Otherwise, I'll just uh, copy paste this once. Uh, I'll remove the comments from here uh, so that it will not be confusing. I'll just copy paste this one so that it will be easy for me to modify, okay? I will create three test classes, guys. First one is login. Second one is register test register test and third one is the search test okay like this i'll create three class three test stacks okay in that in that login test only login class i'll mention and in the register test i'll mention only register related okay and in the test methods of this login class guys we have intentionally failed some test, uh, test methods and we have intentionally skipped some test methods okay i think two test methods will fail and one test method will skip and remaining two test methods in this uh, login login class will pass so there are five total five test methods in that two will pass, two will fail and one will skip. Okay, in register all will pass. In search also, in search also all will pass, all three will pass. In register we have four tests, all the four test methods will pass. So according whether the test will pass, start, end and all those stuff, okay, the high listener methods will be invoked. But here, this session is all about, mainly about on start and on finish uh, methods of this iTest listener interface guys, okay, which will be executed before every test stack, here three test stacks are there. Before every test stack, on start will start. After every test stack, that's after all the test methods of the login got completed, on finish will be executed, okay, invoked, okay? Uh, it will, test engine will raise an event here after the test stack got completed and on finish will be executed. Before the test stack, on start. After the test stack, which method will be invoked from the my listeners, on finish. Before the test stack, on start. After the test stack, on finish, okay? So let's, uh, run this test and XML file guys and see whether on start and on finish are getting executed before and after every test tag or not, okay? After five tests in the login, 
before the fire test uh, on start after the fire test on finish will be there okay your test execution started so it was very fast you can see here guys you can see here test execution started first test method got passed second test method got failed third test method got failed fourth test method got uh, skipped fifth test method got passed and on finish test execution completed on finish here on start on finish after the login test if you can compare here after the login test is completed that login test contains five test after the five test on test execution completed has executed that is on finish this particular statement is inside the on finish you see test execution completed is inside the on finish okay in on start test execution started is there now again for the another test tag for restart test four tests are there before this four tests that on start will start that is test execution started will be printed and uh, four test methods pass 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 four test methods got passed and finally on finish test execution completed again another test tag is there before the test tag starts test execution started three tests are there test one passed test two passed test three in the search class got passed and finally after that third test tag also test execution completed that is on finish got executed so this is how guys on start and on finish methods of this i test listener interface will be executed okay so here i wanted to explain in a better way uh, with this test change xml file this i have not done in the previous session so i covered in this session guys so hope you got an idea how this on start and on finish uh, methods of this i test listener in uh, listener interface will be invoked based on the events that are okay raised by the test change xml file before starting the test tag and after 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 closing the test tag okay so this on start and on finish will be executed so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to cover another test engine topic for you till then see you bye bye